Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at another type of third equation. Uh, the third equation is one where you have a square root sign in it, and basically the, you need to get rid of the square root sign in order to solve. So with this one, um, we're going to end up with a quadratic equation after we get rid of our square root sign, and that's going to lead us to uh, another issue that we'll have a look at towards the end of the video. So let's uh, start off by isolating the third. You want to get the third on its own in order to, to get rid of it. So we add five to both sides. So that would be the square root of x plus 12. Uh, minus five plus five is zero, so that's gone. And then my, uh, two x minus nine plus five is two x minus four. Now at this stage, we have isolated our third. So what we're going to do is we're going to square both sides. So we square this one and we square this one. Now, when we square the third on the left hand side, it kind of has the effect that the square root sign and the squared cancel each other out. And you're just left with X plus 12 or whatever is in underneath the square root sign. And on the right hand side, we have two X minus four to be squared. The way I like to do this is I square the first, so that'll be 2x by 2x, which is 4x squared. Then I do twice the product, that's 2x by minus 4 is minus 8x. Times that by 2, you get minus 16x. And then you square the second, so minus 4 by minus 4 is plus 16. If you don't know what I did there, I have a video on how to square out brackets there. Uh, square the first, twice the product, square the second. I'll put the link to the video in the description below. At this stage then, we want to tidy everything up um, and have a look and get uh, x minus 12 off of this side. So I'm going to uh, take away x from both sides, so it'll be minus x, and I'm going to take away 12 from both sides, so minus 12. And same over here, minus x minus 12. So on the left, you get 0. On the right hand side, you get 4x squared minus 17x plus 4. So here we have our quadratic, uh, 4x squared minus 17x plus 4. Now, I'll, uh, I'd use the guide number method for this, so it would be 4 times 4 is 16. Uh, factors of 16 that add to give you minus uh, 17. So that's 4 by 4 is 16. Factors of 16 that give you minus 17 is 16 and 1, but they're going to be both minus to give us the minus 17x in the middle. So I'll rewrite my equation as 4x squared minus 16x minus x plus 4 equal to 0. Now with the guide number method, you take the first two Get the highest common factor. Highest common factor is 4x. Inside the brackets then, I'll have x minus 4. And then over here, highest common factor is going to just be 1, but I'm going to actually take out minus 1 so that I get x minus 4 inside the brackets. So minus 1 times x minus 4 equal to 0. That leaves me with a common factor of x minus 4 times 4x minus 1 equal to 0. So that means my two roots of the equation are x equal to 4, and this is 4x is equal to 1, so x is equal to a quarter. So we can see that we've got two solutions to this third equation, x equal to 4 and x equal to a quarter. Now, when we're dealing with third equations, we need to check our solutions because when we square a third equation, we don't always get two solutions that work. Okay, Quite often, uh, one of them does not work. So let's start by checking x equal to 4. We sub it into our original equation. So that would be the square root of 4 plus 12 minus 5 is equal to 2 times 4 minus 9. 4 plus 12 is 16. Square root of 16 is 4. 4 minus 5 is minus 1 on the left hand side. On the right hand side you get 2 times 4 is 8. 
minus 9 is also minus 1. So that one works. That means that x equal to 4 is a solution. Now we'll try out x equal to a quarter. So that would be the square root of a quarter plus 12 minus 5 is equal to 2 times a quarter minus 9. So if you work out the left-hand side, what you end up with is minus 1.5. And if you work out the right-hand side, what you end up with is minus 8.5. Well, of course, we know that minus 1.5 is not equal to minus 8.5. So, therefore, uh, x equal to a quarter is not a solution. So, the only solution we have is x equal to 4. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.